White Willow. Today we're going to make something kind of fun and it's candied jalapenos. We took the time earlier, actually my daughter-in-law did, to cut up these jalapenos. Some of them were from the garden and some of them were from the store. We have three pounds of cut jalapenos with the stems off. So these are ready to go. She tasted one and they got some kick. We're gonna first go ahead and in our pot, we're gonna put two cups of red cider vinegar, six cups of sugar. I know that seems like an awful lot, but when you're making jelly or candied anything, you use a lot of sugar. This is not diabetic friendly. So that's four and here's two. I want you to take a peek at that. It's gonna kind of absorb once we start whisking it together. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of celery seed, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then three teaspoons of granulated garlic. So I already have those measured out here and we're going to sprinkle them on in. This is super fun and easy and definitely um, worth your while. One thing you have to do is wait one month after you put these jars together to actually use it. They say two weeks is okay, but one month is better. And they're gonna just be like pickles. You can just eat them right out of the jar. Um, they're pretty addictive. People tend to really love these. This is really smelling like an Easter egg, just so you know. So I'm gonna cook this on the stove and I'm gonna get it to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer for five minutes. One thing I wanna let you know about is we're gonna prepare the canner. This is a water bath canner and we're gonna go ahead and get the water started to heat up because we're gonna put that boiling product of the sauce that we just made into the jars and when you put a hot product in a jar, the jar has to be hot as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just stick these in the canner and let them heat up. And then So we went ahead and, and brought it to a hard boil for one minute and then we simmered it for five minutes. So it has kind of like this caramelized texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we're gonna bring the three pounds of sliced jalapenos and put it into the mixture. We're gonna go ahead and bring that back up to a hard boil. I'm gonna try to get these little seeds out of here. So I'm just gonna stir these up a bit so they get that caramelized mixture deep into every single jalapeno. We have the stove on high. We're gonna let this go to a rapid boil. Again, we're just gonna make it do a rapid boil and then we're gonna simmer it this time for four minutes exactly. Here we have it at a rapid boil and we're going to turn our timer to four minutes and put it back down to simmer. So while we're waiting, we have two minutes left on the jalapenos that are simmering. I'm gonna go ahead and take these jars out of the canner and we're gonna go ahead and set them over here one by one and we're gonna get them ready to fill the jars. Canning really is fun. I know it seems like a lot of work, but it's kind of therapeutic at the same time. One minute, 24 seconds. I couldn't remember how many jars this would make, so I went ahead and um, pre-boiled a lot of jars. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the slotted spoon. You can kind of see that they're a little softened. Um, you're gonna, woo, they're spicy. <laughs> You're gonna take the slotted spoon and you're going to just literally take your canning funnel and fill these um, up until a quarter inch from the top. So you don't want it to be all the way to the top of the jar. You want it to be right about the, the second ring. So we have seven jars here. These are eight ounce jars, and we're going to put the juice 
back on the stove and we're gonna bring it to a hard boil for six minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and ladle that into the jars themselves. So we went ahead and boiled this for six minutes. It still looks a little runny, but you can tell it's starting to caramelize. We're gonna go ahead and fill these jars. Again, we're gonna leave that quarter inch space at the top. I do um, clean the rooms with white vinegar and I'll show you that. I also add a little white vinegar to the pot where I'm going to throw them in the, the water bath because the outside of the jars can get cloudy if you don't. There's pros and cons to using the white vinegar. I've always done it. I've had good success with it. The first batch I ever canned was potatoes and it wasn't that great because they did come out cloudy, but then I started adding the vinegar and all the jars come out really clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these with the liquid. I'm gonna move my We have all of the jalapenos and the sauce into the jars. I have about a quarter inch headspace at the top. I went ahead and put a little ramkin here full of white, the white vinegar. I, again, I poured a little bit into the pot, the canning pot. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that white vinegar and just wipe the rims of each jar. And this just kind of gets any particles that might be um, sitting on the edge so that you, avoid not having a great seal. This, everything's about the seal with canning, so you have to really make sure that everything's gonna seal tightly. So this is a deep bubbler. You can get it with your canning kit. It comes with um, the funnel and it comes with the, the jar retriever. Um, so I, I go ahead and take this end of the deep bubbler. This has a measuring end on it that you can kind of see whether it's a quarter inch from the top or a half inch from the top because different head spacers are required for different foods. Um, after you do it a while, you just get to where you eyeball it and you can kind of tell. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this around the bottom of the rim and see if there's any air trapped in there. And then you can tell this one's a little lower. So we might need to add some more juice to that one. poke it around a little bit and get them all good with no air space. So we're just going to take our funnel and we're going to put a little more juice in a couple of these jars. This is going to be, I'm going to have to redo the rims too. You want to make sure the rims are always super clean. We are just going to stick the lids on here. We are going to fingertip tight the jars. That just means don't wrench them down to where you can't, like you have to be like get your manpower out to, to release it. You're going to do each jar fingertip tight and then we'll put them in the, can the canner. This is how they look before they're entering the canner. You can see all the seeds in them. They look really great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pot real quick because I do have a, a towel at the bottom of the pot. This is so if you have more than one layer that the jars don't bang around the bottom. But since we only have seven jars, we're just gonna go ahead and use this rack on the top. Now, since I won't have enough jars to actually fill up the rack, I do use um, empty jars to fill up the space so they don't fall over. So I will show you that. It's just, some people fill the jars with water and they seal it with a lid. I don't, I literally just put water in it and stick it in the side. So it just goes into the empty spaces. And then I lower the rack into the pot. Once you want this to be a good two to three inches from the top of the jar to the top of the water. So we're going to go ahead and bring this back up to a boil. After it's at a boil, we're going to boil it hard for 10 minutes.
We have seven jars of candied jalapenos. They are already pinging, so that means they're sealing well. They are super hot, and I'm gonna to try to pick it up with this glove, and you can kind of see there's a little bit of liquid on the bottom. This will all kind of mixture as the jalapenos expand, and it will all just caramelize those jalapenos inside of there. And we wait m one month before we open these and start eating them. You can leave them on your shelf for much longer than that, but don't eat them before one month and that'll give you the best flavor. So I appreciate you watching White Willow. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.